Welcome to C Programming Tutorial. Um, this tutorial we will is basically the continuation of the previous tutorial on strings. Uh, we were learning more and more about strings, and this is the part two of the more on strings uh, uh, tutorial. And again, this tutorial is also part of a collection of uh, tutorials in this series, entire series, C Programming Tutorial series, uh, and the link of that uh, that. Uh, playlist can be found in the description uh, uh, or maybe it's displayed on the screen right now um, anyway so and uh, if you if you came here from Facebook I would appreciate if you could become the fan of the Facebook page uh, awesome C programming tutorials in high def and I would also appreciate if you could leave some comments over there or you know if you if you if to give me the feedback as you know how how it say you're liking it or not or whatever and you know and or click at least you know click on the like button if you if you or like link if you if you really like the tutorials um, or uh, you could basically also subscribe to the YouTube channel or leave comments on the YouTube uh, page of this tutorial I would really appreciate it. that way you know I would know that there is somebody out there who is uh, getting take, uh, getting benefit out of uh, out of all this that I'm doing right now uh, anyway so let's continue on working on on this on on learning about strings in C now uh, we learn how the strings are created and we learn how the in strings are input and we learn how the strings are output uh, this tutorial we will learn how you can assign one string to another you know it's a uh, in if uh, it's a uh, it's a little tricky it's not as simple as uh, as for integers so so suppose if uh, if I have like integer x okay and if I have to make the value of x at any point I do this x equal to 2 okay if I have create a string character name 10 or maybe 11 because you know we want to keep one for the null terminator if you remember uh, if I do that I could actually assign the string like this okay it is perfectly okay it you can do that okay at the time of declaration of this string which is basically defining it what data type it is and all this you can say equal to followed by this thing but if you don't do it here for whatever reason okay if you don't do it here you cannot do something like this name equal to Suhail you cannot okay and see you cannot do that so what you have to do instead is use a function just like we use the function for print f and to print something on the screen scan f to enter something to assign one string to another string this is what you have to do you have to write strcpy which is a string copy short for a string copy and then bracket start and then the first string which is the destination string that you want to assign to and then the second string which is the source string the value of which you want to assign to so if you want to later on if you want to make the value of name to be this to be this string so hell you can do this str copy name comma so hell and this doesn't have to be a constant like this okay it could be some other variable called my name so if you have another variable my name and maybe you you want to get the value of uh, enter the value of this variable from from the user like you know a scan f and, and then and then percent s comma my name and then after that you basically you could um, assign that value of my name whatever the user entered to this string if you want to so just just so that you know you know this is how you basically copy a string to another string okay you cannot use equal to unless you are using it use uh, unless you are initializing it at the declaration time okay and at the same time if you have to use it if you have to compare two strings okay if you want to see if one string has the same value as the other string what you could do is suppose you want to see if name is has the value so hell in it okay so normally what you would do you would think that you could do is something like this okay if the value of name is is so hell then basically do this whatever you write here okay else you do something else okay but that's not how you do it in C okay for strings you cannot do that for for integers yes you could you could say if x is equal to 2 that's is perfectly fine for strings no 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 you cannot do that what you can do is again you use this function str 
oops, compare, okay, and then you write the first, this is string compare, strcmp, short for string compare, then you write the first string, it doesn't matter wh which one you write first, because, you know, they are both the same, and then the next string, and then close the bracket, like this, okay, so this is, is one string compare, or operation or function call and it will basically result in zero if they are same otherwise it will be non-zero so if you want to say if it is if they are same if the value of name is so here okay you could write the other other string here also my name if you want okay this other string that we defined you could write it here also okay if the value of these two strings are the same the value of this whole thing will be replaced by a zero okay so you have to compare it against zero to see if they are the same so it looks a little funny here but you'll get used to it if a string compare of name comma my name is equal to zero then do this if they are same you do this okay so let's real quick write a small program here then this program we will basically ask the user to enter a, n a name so or his name what is your name okay so we ask user to enter a name okay then the user enters a name and we store it in the variable name okay or let's store it in the variable my name okay and then we copy it to this variable name just for for fun okay i'm kind of running almost out of time I have two minutes let's write now I hope you will finish it okay let's see and then we say if they are if mine if the value of name is uh, so hell okay if that is the case then we write you are my friend okay else we write if the user entered anything but so hell you are not my friend you are not my friend my friend you are not my friend okay that's what we are going to print very simple program but demonstrates how you can copy so we ent we ask user to enter something and we store it in my name and we could have used my name all over but let's copy it into some other variable name so if the value of my name becomes the same as the value of name and then we say if the value of name is Suhail in other words if the user entered Suhail which was copied over to name <coughs> excuse me if that's the case then you say you are my friend okay the computer is gonna write you are my friend otherwise the computer is gonna write you are not my friend so let's test it out compiling it's running so let's see it it's asking what is your name just like here and we say Suhail okay it has to be exact same Suhail with all the capital letters and small letters you know lowercase uppercase everything has to match and it says you are my friend because I wrote so hell okay so it compares it and since they are the same strings it says zero so is it equal to zero yes it will be equal to zero and then it will say you are my friend otherwise it will say anything other than zero it, it will say a non-zero number here okay and non-zero number non-zero number non-zero value of this comparison is not the same as zero so it will say my you are not my friend so real quick we will just real quick uh, type something else Baba and then it says you are not my friend okay thank you very very much for watching this tutorial please rate five stars thank you so much bye